Hey guys, Fun Newber here bringing another video. In this video, I tried to make Gary's mod in 48 hours. Many of you guys know what Gary's mod is, but if you don't, let me explain. So, Gary's mod is a sandbox game based on the Half Life 2 engine, so it has a lot of the same things that Half Life 2 does. And this game has no defined purposes as it is a sandbox game. And this video, I tried to replicate the physics gun and the spawn menu from the Gary's Mod game. So let's get started. So I made a new Unity project and import the player movement script from my game of Vortex Alpha VOAL. Oh, you don't know what VOAL is? It is a game I'm working on in Unity. I set up the player controller script and added the ground check in the camera scripts. After that, I created a simple cube for the physics gun. The physics gun for now is just a cube with a very simple script. Alright, the physics gun script is a simple script with two functions for now. So in the update function, I added an input function to receive input so we can actually use the physics gun. This function was real simple. It was just input dot get mouse button down and then I passed in zero. I'll change this later because I kept having issues where the physics gun felt clunky to use. This was actually because of raycast problems. Now I create the pickup function which which is just a raycast, then parenting the selected object to the camera so it moves with the camera. This most likely or not is the worst way to go about it, but it works. And if it works, it works. The jump function is called in the update function whenever the user releases the left mouse button. This function just unparents the object from the camera and removes all constraints added when picking up the object. Right now the physics gun is just a rectangle, but I can fix that by using Blender. If you don't know what Blender is, then let me explain. Blender is a free open source 3D suite software. So, I looked at some reference photos of the physics gun and modeled my version based on the images on the internet. I then made a simple color palette in Acebrite that all models in my game can use. So I went to the UV mapping tab and scaled down the UVs to pixel size and then colored the physics gun brown and the wire on the physics gun black. Importing the physics gun model to Unity was pretty simple. As I just exported the physics gun model to an FBX in Unity, then deleted the old rectangle. I then added the physics gun script back to the physics gun and it just worked. I tried adding in a line renderer to the physics gun for a little bit for more visual feedback, but I did not have enough experience with the line renderer. I later found out that the reason it was glitching out because it was colliding with the player instead of the object. <laughs> Setting up the spawn menu was simple. I just created a new canvas and a new panel. Set the panel color to black so the button stood out a bit more. I added a button and made it square and also increased the size. I wanted to add images to the buttons but I later realized it would not have been worth the time. So now we have a button that says cube, but right now this button doesn't do anything. This was pretty simple, as I just did a raycast and placed a prefab of the object where the raycast hit. I kept having this error where the object would spawn on the player. Again, it was with the raycast colliding with the player. Adding the script to the button was pretty simple as I just dragged an action on the button and assigned the proper prefab. The spawn menu needs to get enabled and disabled so the player can actually see in game. Making this work was simple as I just created a script to check if it is enabled and if it is then disable it. I had no raycast issues, I just had to add a return function so it would actually enable and disable it. In Half-Life 2, we have the gravity gun that has the ability to launch things. I wanted this, and so I edited the physics gun script so it can launch rigid bodies. I went through several iterations, but the one I settled on was where the object would launch no matter if you were holding it or not. I was once again having ray cache issues, 
Another error I was encountering was where the object would come closer to the player, but I want to get further, so I just made the force negative. Spawning in cylinders is simple, as I just have to create a new prefab and a new material, and just make a button and assign the material to the prefab and assign the prefab to the button. This is when I did a debug message and figured out that the ray kept hitting the player instead of the object making the physics gun feel clunky. I made a new layer and called it object, and every time the ray is shot out, it's only colliding with things on that layer, called object. Right now, our level is just a green plane with no detail on it at all. I'm going to fix that now. I installed ProBuilder and ProGrids and started blocking out a simple layout. If you want to know how to use ProBuilder yourself, then I recommend you check out my Unity ProBuilder 2021 video. Now let's get back to talking about level design. The layout I blocked out was pretty simple, where the area you started at is raised above ground up a bit, but I kept having weird topology issues, so I ended up scrapping it. I then started over this time without the topology issues and got pretty far into it. This map is bigger than the old one. Keeping the same layout of the old one, I raised the ground up a bit, but this time without the topology issues. I played it and figured out that was way too easy to fall off, and once you get off the raised area, you can't come back up. I fixed falling off the map by adding a wall, and fixed not being able to get on the platform by making the slope a little bit more gentle. Our game currently looks really bland, but I can fix that by adding in some post-processing. I installed the post-processing stack and set up my camera to work with it. Now the post-processing is set up, but there's no post-processing right now. So I fixed that by creating a new post-processing profile, and then added it to our camera. Right now this profile does not... Right now this profile does nothing, so I added in some bloom, which makes the brighter areas glow such as the sign parts of our physics gun. Now our game is complete. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want me making more knockoffs of other games in the future. Now enjoy some of these clips. Fun Uber, out.